Hello everyone, I'm Melv. Welcome to another episode of Melv Underground. Today we are underground and we are working on what will be a light fitting uh, for a dangling light. So let's bring you in and get started. Okay, so this is a little mini project we're going to do. Um, we're going to do a dangling light fitting. So we're going to have a three cables that come out of this block of wood. This is going to go on the ceiling and is going to be where the cables come out of. Uh, this is just a cheap normal uh, bulb holder. These usually, I've only been able to find them in white, so what I did was just take it apart, spray paint it and put it back together again. This black cable is fairly easy to get a hold of. Uh, it's just a three core cable. Now the main thing we're going to be working on is this piece of wood. This is a big piece, this is a piece of oak we had left over from a previous project. I'm going to stick to this end of it. We've got a bit of a knot here as you can see. So for kind of general woodworking it's not it's not that uh, it's not that useful that big knot there. So we're going to take the end off this board. Obviously this has been rough sawn so we're going to have to plane it all down. Uh, so I'll go and start doing that now. So we've got this plane down now, so it's mostly smooth. There's a few blemishes, but I'll get them out when we when we finish it up. Uh, I was originally going to use this side, but I think the knot looks a little bit nicer on this side. I was going to fill it, but I think it looks quite nice just as it is, so I think I'll leave it as is. Next thing to do is to drill three holes, evenly spaced, down the centre line for the cables. So we drilled those three holes. Uh, one of the nice bits about using an auger bit like, like I've done there is that because you can drill halfway through, your point will come out and then you can, you can feel out where that is and go the other way. It means you don't get any tear out on either side, which is really nice. Uh, what we need to do now, this is the back side. Uh, I think we just need a couple of strips to go here to just lower this down from the ceiling a bit and give us a bit of space to put this cabling in. So I've got some oak here, which is an offcut from an oak table that I chopped up. But I think I'll just rip a bit off the end here and use a couple of strips here. So we've got these two little spaces made. It's a shame actually because the flecking on this from the ray has actually turned out really nice. It's a shame we're hiding them. But uh, it's what it is. So we're just going to screw and glue these here. Uh, I've also recessed these um, countersink, these, these holes here just to give the cable a little bit more 
uh, relief as it's trying to get around that corner, so it's not catching on the hard edge. And that should be plenty for it to uh, not damage it. So we'll screw and glue these. this off now. I've um, finished the surface with a uh, with a car scraper. Uh, I've countersunk these holes a little bit. Um, so we'll just already start putting some finish on this. So I'm just going to use some uh, outdoor furniture oil, which is what I've been using for the rest of the stuff in the utility room, so it should keep all the colours the similar. So here we go. Okay guys, that was our light fixture project. Uh, it's come out really, really well. We're really happy with it. It's really brought a bit of a modern pop to the room. That's all I have for today. So thanks for tuning in. I'm Mel, and this has been Mel Underground. Mm -hmm.